Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In this video, we will work out exercise 5.1 problems. Uh, so this is part of chapter 5, uh, Quadratic Equations from Telangana State Syllabus. Quadratic Equations. Any second degree polynomial is known as a quadratic equation. General form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Let me write it down for you. So ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That's a, genera that's a general form of a quadratic equation where a, b, c are real numbers and uh, a is not equal to 0 because if a becomes 0, this complete term x square vanishes and it, instead of a quadratic uh, equation, it pretty much becomes a linear equation. So a quadratic equation is simple, any po uh, polynomial with uh, degree 2 is known as a quadratic polynomial and general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So you see here the degree of this polynomial is 2 and so it is called as a quadratic equation. Uh, with this knowledge in hand, let us go ahead and solve exercise 5.1 problems. Here uh, we have various uses of quadratic uh, functions. By the way, uh, y is equal to ax, plus, AX squared plus bx plus c is known as a quadratic function. And here we have uh, various uses of quadratic functions. I won't go through that, uh, you can just read it on your own. We'll directly move to exercise 5.1. <coughs> Check whether the following are quadratic equations. Um, so we have several bits in uh, question number 1. I'll just pick one from this. Let me just uh, solve the very first bit from here. Every Every other bit is just the same. Uh, you just have to show that it's, uh, you know, simply. You just have to simplify it and uh, show that it's a quadratic equation. X plus one whole square is equal to two into x minus three. Now the left hand side it is in the form of a plus b whole square, and we know that a plus b whole square. Sorry for that. A plus b whole square is a x. <clears throat> a square plus 2ab plus b square so that's a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square so i'm using a plus b whole square formula to expand the left hand side so this becomes x square plus 2ab plus b square i'm multiplying the right hand side by 2 and uh, opening the bracket here 2 into x is 2x and 2 into 3 is 6 this becomes x square plus 2x into 1 is 2x 1 square is 1 x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x if I take to the left hand side becomes minus 2x and minus 6 if I take it to the left hand side becomes plus 6 plus 2x and minus 2x gets cancelled 1 plus 6 is 7 x square plus 7 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation because it's a second degree equation right the degree of this equation is 2 and this equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 you must be thinking we don't have the term x here i can pretty much write this down as x square plus 0x plus 7 is equal to 0 right and this is a second degree equation so this is a quadratic equation all the other bits from question one um, I'll, I'll just leave it to you guys to solve them and if you have any questions you can post your questions as comments on the on the video and i'll get back to you second question represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations <coughs> okay let's go ahead and do the first one here it says the area of a rectangular plot is 528 meters square the length of the plot is 1 meter more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and breadth of the plot. Um, okay. So it says length of the plot is 1 meter more than twice the breadth. So here length 
depends on breadth so let me first consider breadth as x meters let breadth is equal to x meter then according to the question what would be the length they are saying that the length is one more than twice the breadth twice the breadth means i'll have to multiply breadth by x uh, by 2 2 into x is 2x and it says one more than twice the breadth so i'm adding one here so according to the question length should be 2x plus 1 now area of uh, rectangular plot is given as 528 meter square and everybody knows that the area of a rectangle formula is L into B in place of L L is length I'm substituting the length as 2x plus 1 and then the breadth breadth we took it as x meters I'm just multiplying 2x plus 1 with x and I'm just opening the bracket here 2x into x is 2x square x one's a x Two x square plus x plus five twenty eight. If I take it to the left hand side, it becomes minus five twenty eight. Now, this is a quadratic equation, right? Because this is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. I'm not going to find the value of uh, length and breadth because uh, in the question. <coughs> It pretty much says that we just need to represent the situation in the form of quadratic equations. So we'll just represent a situation in the form of a quadratic equation. That's about it. Second bit. The product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. We need to find the integers. Okay, again, uh, we just need to represent this situation, the second bit in the form of a quadratic equation consecutive positive integers consecutive integers are integers that come one after the other uh, let's say one after one what 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 comes two after two three so one two three these are consecutive integers right so to get a consecutive integer you just have to add one to the previous integer let's say i have one i want to find out what comes after one i just need to add one to, to this one one plus one is two now if i add one to two then i get the next uh, consecutive integer so let me consider the two consecutive integers as let's say i consider the first consecutive integer as x then the second consecutive integer should be x plus one because if i add x uh, add one uh, to the to, to uh, the current integer then i get the next uh, consecutive integer right let the two consecutive integers be x and x plus 1. Now according to the question uh, the product of these two integers is 306. So according to the question the product of x and x plus 1 should be 306. x into x is how much? x square. x one's a x is equal to 306. x square plus x plus 306 if I take it to the left hand side it becomes minus 306 and again this is a quadratic equation because this is a second degree equation right the degree of the equation is 2 so it again is a quadratic equation let us check the next one here third bit people who find it difficult to understand the concept in English uh, you know do not worry I uh, will go ahead and create similar set of videos in Hindi too. Uh, yeah, pretty soon. Third bit. <coughs> Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. Okay, so Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. So let me first take Rohan's age as X. Then Rohan's mother's age would be X plus 26 because she is 26 years older than Rohan, right? <coughs> Let Rohan's age is 26 years, sorry, X years. Because in the question it is given, Rohan's mother age is, Rohan's mother is 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्डर दैन हेम तो द एज ऑफ रोहन मदर डिपेंड्स ऑन एज ऑफ रोहन हियर सो आई फर्स्ट टेक रोहन एज एज एक्स ईयर्स देन रोहन मदर्स एज वुड बी X plus 26 because Rohan's mother is 26 years older than Rohan, so I'm adding 26 to Rohan's age. I'll get Rohan's mother's age. <clears throat> Now it says the product of their ages after three years will be 360 years. The product of their ages after three years. Now Rohan's current age is X years, and Rohan's mother's current a current age is X plus 26. I'll first find out what would be Rohan's age after three years. Rohan's age. After three years, so the current age of Rohan is X. So after three years, his age would be X plus three. Rohan's mother's age after three years. Now her age is X plus twenty-six. After three years, her age would be X plus twenty-six plus three. I'm just adding three to the current age. 26 plus 3 is 29 now according to the question according to the question the product of their ages is 360 years right which means x plus 3 into x plus 29 should be equal to 360 I believe everyone knows how to multiply two binomials. Uh, you just have to multiply the first term with this whole term, and then you have to multiply the second term with this whole term. First term into whole term, first term into whole term plus second term into whole term. X into x is x square. Twenty nine into x is twenty nine x. Three into x is three x. Twenty nine into three is three to the six seven eight eighty seven. X square plus twenty nine x plus three x would be thirty two x plus three sixty. If I take it to the left hand side, it, it becomes minus three sixty. So from three sixty, if I subtract eighty seven, I'll end up getting. Two seventy-three x square plus thirty-two x minus two seventy-three is equal to zero. Again, this is a quadratic equation. So we just um, wanted to represent a given question in the form of a quadratic equation, and which we did. I believe the next one, fourth bit, uh, you guys can write on your own. Yeah. I believe you should be able to try this on your own. Uh, I'll end this video for now. In the next video, we'll go ahead and work out uh, exercise 5.2 problems. Until then, goodbye.